In the inquiry, the ACT government came and opposed the legislation. Right? The federal minister, the Labor minister, the federal minister, also opposed the legislation. And we managed to get it up through the Senate inquiry and through uh, a remarkable lobbying campaign by the, the UFUA. So we, we had the funder and the government who was actually responsible for opposing it. Um, and we would have had the, the federal parliament opposing it too if it wasn't scientifically based. Once we established that federally, it was then easier to say to all the state governments who initially would have had the same response as the ACT government is that we don't want to do it, right? But because it was already established and in place and a review had already taken place to say that it wasn't going to cost a fortune, that the floodgates weren't going to open and that it could not be rorted, it made it easier for each state jurisdiction to say, OK, it's been done before, we don't have to be courageous politicians and do something new. Without getting it done federally in this jurisdiction and without the science, it wouldn't have happened. Now, if you take the science away from it and you talk about, well, social justice, okay, I think anyone who gets any sort of cancer that should have support from our community. They should have support from our community. And if that's what the government wants to do, that's what they should do. Instead of putting it, to, and, and see, this is what really worries me about this. So in Victoria, it's some mechanics. I don't know how many that is, what it was, 20, might be 50, it might even be more than that. But they're not covered by the science. Now, it's not as a, that we want to be mean-spirited and not give people who get cancer some support. But why is the government saying, well, only so we've got firefighters covered by the science, then we've got another group not covered by the science, we want to support them. Well, why only them? Why only them? Why not everybody else? Why not everybody in every other industry? Like, that they have the same qualification to the science base that the mechanics do, or that the volunteers do. They're in the same, the same position. Why are they only expanding it there? And I think what we ought to be saying, because, you know, Peter's right, the pressure in Victoria came from the union that covered the mechanics, said, oh, this is a good thing, we, we want it for our people. But there was no science to back it up. And the government said, OK, yeah, well, we want to give it to them. But why only to them? Let's give it to everybody. That should be the campaign of the union movement now. If we want anyone who gets cancer, if you're employed, you should be covered by workers' compensation. Well, let me tell you, what do you think is going to be each government's response to that? It's not about firefighters saying, oh, we've got something and we're just going to keep it to ourselves and we don't want you to have it. The only reason you have it is that second absolute truth that I told you is because of the science. And the minute you, you let the science be undermined by that, you will undermine the whole scheme because it'll be some mechanics tomorrow it, it will be uh, some volunteers the next day. Uh, it will be the office workers and management the day after. And then it will just slowly expand. And then as every insurer starts saying, well, we can rebut this successfully. Well, then if we can rebut it for volunteers and we can rebut it for mechanics, actually, we might even be able to rebut it for professional firefighters. And the full circle comes back. The full circle is back. And there you are, instead of getting the presumption, you're getting the rebuttal. And that's why it's going to be undermined. So it is an important thing, and people will tell you, they will tell you that you're just being selfish and there's no grounds for you trying to stop other workers, stopping other workers getting stuff. And they'll say things like, you know, firefighters didn't go out and get the eight hour, the eight hour day. You know, the Masons, the Masons went and got that and we flowed it on to everybody. How dare you try to just, you know, get something and then hold it back and not spread it. But it's a bigger risk than that. And if they want it, they should go out and fight for it uh, without the science and you should offer to help them, right? But not undermine your own scheme in order to do so. I know for an absolute fact that if it wasn't for the science, this legislation would never have happened in the first place. It was not a benevolent government saying we want to give firefighters something that they don't have.